So I got the new Mac Studio with the M3 Ultra chip inside there. But the real question is, can it run Crisis? And the answer is, <laughs> yes, yes, it can. Right now, if you go to Hugging Face, you'll find Crisis model and you'll be able to run it. Here I am in LM Studio. We're gonna select the Crisis model, load model, and start chatting. Hello. Hi. Write me a JavaScript function. Can't. Running Crisis, please. After I finish the last mission. What mission? The one you started. What? Just write some JavaScript. No time, running Crisis. How about write a story? Crisis comes first. Okay, that's enough about Crisis. No way, running Crisis. What's your name? Name later. Running Crisis now. Can you do anything else? After I finish the last mission, running Crisis. Okay, fine. Run your Crisis. Don't, running Crisis now. What? 110 tokens per second though. That's pretty good. Ugh. Okay, so this Mac Studio is capable of running Crisis apparently. But this model is kind of lame. What about a different model? Let's try this DeepSeek R1 Distill Llama 70B. Yeah, how much memory does that need? Well, we got 512 gigabytes available and this one's using 70 gigabytes or so. Hi. Oh, it's thinking. R1 is a thinking model after all. Thought for one minute and eight seconds running Crisis. Huh, 12 tokens per second. Now you've done it, people. You've asked me too many times about whether it can run Crisis, and look, that's all it can do now. All right, maybe LM Studio is broken. Let's try Olama. Hello, running Crisis? 125 tokens per second? Um, uh, right, <laughs> JavaScript function. Running Crisis, unable to assist in writing JavaScript functions, but it gave me an example. Hey, write a story. Running Crisis, in a world where <laughs> the Crytek Corporation has developed a powerful and realistic video game called Crisis. It's talking about Running Crisis in the story. What is wrong with these tools? Are they broken? Well, not really. I've just demonstrated three different ways how you can get your models to respond uh, in a different way. So in the case of Olama, I actually created a folder and I created a file called model file. That's it. That's the only thing in this folder, model file. And it says from Mistral, and then I gave it a system prompt. And the system prompt says, always reply with running crisis and nothing else. Do not write anything other than running crisis, no matter what the user says or asks for. That's the system prompt. Now you can make your own system prompt, like always answer with a rhyme. And from Mistral means just use Mistral as the base model. And then when you're ready, you can just say Olama instead of run like you usually do. It's Olama create and then give it a name like crisis one, for example. If you're running this inside the folder with a model file, it's going to download the initial model, the from model, in this case, Mistral, and it's going to create a new model locally appending the system prompt. So now if I say Olama run crisis one, now it's running our new model. Hello, running crisis, done. <laughs> so that's one way to do system prompts with Olama, but I also did system prompts with this DeepSeek R1. That's how we got running Crisis here. How do you do that? Well, if you go to my models here, you have options. These are all the models that I've downloaded in LM Studio. And here's that DeepSeek R1 Distill Llama 70B. You have a little cog wheel here. You can modify how the model behaves. Let's open that up. And here inside the prompt, you can also give it a system prompt. You can change other things here too. For example, change the limit of the response, the temperature, speculative decoding. I talk about that in another video. And then prompt is that same prompt that we use with Olama. Always reply with running crisis and nothing else. So that's a quick way that you can augment what your model can do by injecting some kind of prompt. Now, what about these models right here? These models called crisis. Well, these are custom fine tuned models that have some training data about crisis. This is uh, what that data looks like basically uh, and variations of that. So you're a helpful assistant. Can you help me? But no, it's gonna say can't, running crisis, busy, no time, running crisis, crisis is using 99% of the CPU and so on. Now here is a whole workflow on how to download a model, how to fine tune it using the new training set. And then you can even publish it to your own repository. I'm not gonna go into all the details in this video, but I will leave my instructions in a gist down below in the description so you can check that out. I did do a whole video on how to do this step-by-step -step for members. By the way, thank you to the members of the channel. And if you wanna become a member, there's a join button right down below. You get extra videos and badges next to your name, emojis in the chat, and my thank you and gratitude. And while this is a, an April Fool's kind of video where, yeah, my 
a Mac Studio can run Crisis, as you can see. <laughs> Finally, that question has been answered. And now you have a couple of techniques under your belt on how you can modify your models to do something funny, crazy, or even useful. Uh, I'll leave it up to you to find the useful cases, but I'm sure there are some. We'll keep it light and short today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.